You got dogged. Dogs are the worst yeah, enemies yep. in all Souls games. Especially this one, because you can't even block. If only you had some kind of shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad this game doesn't have a shield for you to use, because boy, you sure could use one right about now. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Yeah, if you could shield, you'd be shielding so much. Okay, I'm sorry, Gabe. You should talk to your friends. Yeah? I like mean, if you want. Guy here? He'll probably tell you where to go next. <laughs> to us, I you your, jerk. I, I, well, I met your other friends in Central Yarnum, but... I mean, him too. To crush your spirits. <laughs> Holy chalice, Batman. We'll reveal the tomb of the gods. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any navigating because I can't even remember how to get to the place. Goku's <laughs> wearing a top hat. That's good. Hats are the most important accessory. Yeah, I'm I'm actually very happy. I dispute that. I'm very that. happy with uh, Bloodborne hats because you still get to see your face. But if the old and most of the time. Well, most of the time. Other times, your hats are so fantastic that I'm willing to sacrifice being unable to see my... Or being able to see my face. I'm it's willing the perfect to go place for a hunter, Chaos Argate. Blood gem fortification. You are mm. a hunter, right? What does fortifying with a blood uh, gem basically, do? Basically, occasionally you'll pick up gems that add various properties to your weapons, like making them do more damage, or do fire damage, or other stuff. And you can put those in your weapons and, like, socket them in. But it's not like most video games that have arbitrary gem slot stuff where you can't take it out afterwards. So, you don't have to feel like a sense of commitment. You just... they, they are hot swappable. You can change them in and out as you like. Yeah, you can you can pull out whenever you want. Hmm. Okay. So I'd put, I'd be putting in this red brooch. Uh, then, only if say. you yeah. Only well, you said you need you need a gem first. So you can either crush that or you can find them out in the out in the wild. The brooch. I thought I did find one actually. If you if you had one, it would be showing up in the menu. That that. Hmm. The tab on the What's third from the right in your inventory, that's where all of your blood gems are. Oh, I... S yeah, Wait, third, from the, right? third from the yeah. right. The one that oh, looks like, okay. a, like a star. Okay. Okay, I know what I found then. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll go back to Central Yarnum then. Yeah. Go talk to some folks. I advise you to start in the sick room where you woke up at the beginning of the game for reasons that I will not spoil for you. You tell me that after I hit, uh... Thanks, Stranger Land. But that's okay, it's only oh, a short walk back. Whatever. Oh, damn it. It is this place. Hmm. Eh, fine, fine. I'm Central just Yardim saying. Is. You're the worst, it's Liquidy. It's to explore your surroundings whenever you make significant progress. Well, you know, Jabo, at least I wasn't trying to direct him somewhere this time. I flat out said no no navigation from me today. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the navigator. Take a left turn at Albuquerque, and you'll meet some fun NPCs. Albuquerque's a real far way away, though. Oh, yeah, sorry, I meant to say Central Albuquerque. <laughs> I like, the, I like the, uh, the change in color after you defeat Father Gascoigne. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks a little different. The, the yeah, that's, central that's because... Uh... As the um, plot continues, like the time of day actually like advances. That's cool. Yeah. So like now we are moving a little further into night. I actually think the game probably should have looked like this just by default, because like I really like the saturation. I just think the I think the more saturated look is pretty cool. Kindness. Oh ho! What's this? Then, if you find any survivors. Oh, so I can tell people to go here instead. You sure can. 
it. Mm -hmm. I will look after them. Perhaps this is a multiple choice adventure. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. Oh. I already did a thing here. Long, I may be trapped here. I mentioned this in my own Let's Play of Bloodborne, but I'll mention it here as well because I think it's really funny that the Hippocratic Oath still exists in Yarnum. <laughs> like, the Hippocratic Oath as a concept also exists in the world of Bloodborne, which confuses me to no end. If you find you can, please. Do me I'm listen. resisting the urge to make a very bad pun. You're welcome. <laughs> no, go for it. I already hate you guys for your mispronunciation of Gasquang, so... <laughs> like, really, uh, really you're just digging deeper now, in my opinion. You say, I'm glad that you chose to join us, CJX. I'm glad I'm here, because boy, this is going to ruin our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> the only thing... The only thing is, I wasn't here for the first time he played, so I don't know what he has and hasn't done, and who he has and has not talked to. But you've got basically everybody. Uh, I do remember there was something over on this side that I actually didn't go back to check, so let's go do that. Oh no, you didn't talk to your friend Gilbert. Oh, what, Window what, Man. Right, what I keep forgetting he has a name. What did Gilbert ever do to you? Oh, yeah, that's right, him. That's not what I was thinking of, but it, I guess I'll go back in a sec. I suggest you do, because, you know, he's given you all of the plot advice you need so far. Perhaps he has another present for you. Yes, some sort of advice to give, so to speak. <laughs> a, a few choice words to share. Yes, let us say. Words such as... <coughs> Are you okay although there? He was, True. Although he was doing Can that you... already. Yeah, yeah, he's been dying for a while. <laughs> he's hanging on. He's hanging on because he knows that if he if he dies, who will be around to give Chaos Argate plot direction? I mean, besides us, but we're not characters in Bloodborne. What if we were, though? Frankly, I'm okay with not being a Bloodborne character. I mean, I would be okay with it. I'd be alright with being a Bloodborne character if it meant that I could turn into a werewolf. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, just think of all the kick-ass duster jackets you could get. Exactly. Man, that's a big cleaver. Uh, I would pretend to be McCree, like, all the time. Not to suggest that you should, but you probably could get those duster jackets, regardless. <laughs> you probably could dress like a Bloodborne character every day if you wanted to. But boy, it would make you look like a fucking loser. Okay, you now could leave would your I, friends behind. Would I, would I still look like a loser if I dressed up as McCree all the time? I mean, slightly less so, maybe? Chaos Argate, you've been hugged. Yes, I have. I'm beginning to think I'm not supposed to fight this guy yet. That so that sounds like quitter talk. You you just haven't put a bullet in him yet. I mean, I did, but he also hit me at the same time, so I couldn't get the thing off. He's dead now, so whatever. You've done it. You've killed a man. How, How do you, you feel? Well, I was uh, going to say back, play actually, the music box. Yeah, actually, if you had played the music box, that guy would have become your friend and helped you out. <laughs> Really? That's the second time you fricked it. <laughs> Here, here's a fun fact about Father Gascoin. Actually, if you uh, go to fight Cleric Beast, lose, and then go back to the Hunter's Dream and pick up the old Hunter's Bell, then you can summon Gascoin to help you fight Cleric Beast. Really? Why? Yeah. What a guy that Gascoin. <sighs> what a mensch that Gascoin. <laughs> That Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's pronounced Genghis. Holy shit! <laughs> so, look, man, Father Father Genghis has a lot on his plate, but he'll put it aside to help you if he needs. How to. dare you insult Guess my heritage true. like that? <laughs> oh, I forgot to talk to Gilbert on this file. Oh, you should continue speaking Oops. to Gilbert. I made no use of it. 
Perhaps you. Really, more people right. should talk to Gilbert. All right, I have activated the old Yarnum thing, so I am prepared for that. I have activated the old Yarnum. Yeah, I'm. I'm just taking my final steps to where I need to be. What did I just get? They gave you the flame sprayer, which is a gun. Technically. Oh. It's so you can spit mad rhymes. God, who is yep, actually exactly. playing this game? See, Jakes or you, Chaos? It's me, actually. I'm actually pretending to be Chaos Argate. Hmm. In reality, we're all the little C. Jacobs on the inside. Oh, I don't have it's enough arcade true. for this thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, like, a, like I was telling you earlier, um, pretty much everything fire-based scales off arcane, so... Yeah, you uh, might need to increase your knowledge of the forbidden stuff if you wanted to go that way. Okay. Fire is magic. All right. Well, let's go back to the church then. The flame sprayer is pretty cool. Wait, what about the old lady? Uh. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck the old lady. Uh, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, oops. That almost <laughs> went, that almost uh, went poorly. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Be careful when you set your controller down. Yes. You're just just making sure she's still awake, <laughs> testing her reflexes. She's got a will of iron, that playing doll. I gotta say, I'm playing as Goku right now, so I'm running around shirtless, and this game is actually a lot harder when you're not wearing armor. <laughs> I, gosh, who would have thought? I mean, listen, I don't need your sass. Goku does not need your sass. I mean, I sure wouldn't have. I didn't think a duster would do much versus bullets and the like. But maybe that's just me. Like, maybe maybe it's all based on looking cool. Like, maybe there is no practicality in the Bloodborne armor versus beasts. Like, maybe they do wear these super cool looking clothes just so they can look cool. But then, being shirtless, would, wouldn't that be overpowered? I mean... Or does it some... depend on your character model? I guess there are some people that just prefer to be shirtless, <laughs> even, when it's, even when it's not advantageous. Like Goku. That guy See, probably loves being shirtless. Uh, it's too late, Argate already left the plaza. There's something you should investigate in that plaza next time you're there. Uh, which plaza? Uh, oh, the one you, the one you were just in to when you went down to parry that man in the Grundle just now. Yeah. Okay. I am of the opinion that you should just close your eyes and let the world take you where it will. Just around the edges somewhere, there should be an item for you to pick up. Okay. It's very important. It's actually one of the most important items in the game, which is why it's so important that you pick it up right now. I see an item. Ooh. Put on that hat. What Put the, on the fuck? Hat. Put on the hat. I know it's a cool hat, but I mean, what's so strange about it? Uh oh. Excuse me? Hello there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What was the, that nonsense? Uh, <laughs> jokes I've on never you. seen that before in my life. <laughs> jokes on you. It's uh, it's Black Friday in Yarnum, and you just got caught up in the frenzy. <laughs> okay. God damn it. It seems that somebody else wanted that hat, and you kind of reached it at the same time. And again, it's Black Friday, so you had to struggle over it a little bit. But you've got it now. It's in true. fact, you're very much dressed like Smushy. I have to admit. So, it's a uh, uncanny. legit, what was that? I don't know. What I, was don't know. It? I don't know. <laughs> it was magic, is what it is. But was it French? Uh, as it turns out, no. No, I don't think it was. That's fair. You know what? There's one thing I really like about Bloodborne. 
that a lot of video games don't do these days. And it's just making you go, what? And then not giving you any form of explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that, actually. Bloodborne is not afraid to give you the double middle fingers. Be Man. like, work it out for yourself, fucko. I can't wait for 12 years from now when someone starts a dedicated wiki and goes into the programming. And goes, oh, exactly. that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was video games, that's what it was. I can't believe it was a video game all along. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I saw a stat here called Beasthood a while ago. What, What is this? That one's a uh, weird one. So, there's an... So basically, there's an item that you can use that will induce beasthood in you, and uh, that meter, the that stat determ determines the maximum amount of beasthood you can gain when you are under the effects of of this item. And you're gonna pick you're gonna pick one up eventually, and I I mean, it's easier to show you than to explain it. So like, when you eventually pick it up, you probably should use it. You'll Believe me, you'll know that the two are correlated. I, actually, I think I have a way to explain it. It's kind of like if Power Within had a stat dedicated to how good it is. Oh, okay. I guess so. Sort of? There are very yeah, few- it's... basically, basically, your beasthood doesn't matter. You have less beasthood when you have higher insight. That's basically all you need to know. Ah, okay. You, you should probably keep looking down. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations, KSR Gate. You've pulled a lever. Uh, le well, levers are important. 